What is up guys, this is Luke Hill for Kicker, and this one we're taking a look at a new CPU cooler from Be Quiet. So this is the Shadow Rock Slim 2. So this 135mm fan equipped unit comes in at around £44 in the UK and it's intended to offer solid cooling performance without overpowering dimensions. In fact, the Slim heatsink is actually very accommodating when it comes to RAM and VRM heatsink clearance. So let's take a closer look and have a look at the further details. Before we do that though, if you like what we do here at Kickeroo, make sure you give us a like and subscribe to all that YouTube stuff. Check out the written review on the Kickeroo website, that really helps us out. You can join the Kickeroo YouTube channel as a member and you can interact with us on the usual means through Discord and Twitter and the likes. Let's get back into it. If we start off by grabbing some of the accessories that come with the Shadow Rock Slim 2, then basically we've got AMD mounts and Intel mounts for modern CPUs on those platforms. We've got a small tube of thermal paste, We've got fan clips for the included fan and also an extra set of fan clips so you can go dual fan if you want. And that's basically it, nothing too fancy. We do obviously get a clear instruction manual. Now taking a closer look at the heatsink, Be Quiet has gone with a standard silver fin array that is quite typical for the company's mid-range CPU cooler offerings. A solid top plate holds the black Be Quiet branding text and you get these silver covers so that you don't see the bare copper heat sinks at the top. Despite the top plate, which does add some aesthetic appeal, there's no denying that this is a bit of a dull cooler to look at. It's nothing particularly fancy, especially when we see some of the matte black or, you know, kind of all silver competitors at this price point. Nothing fancy in the aesthetics, but I guess that's not really what Be Quiet is going for. The heatsink is symmetrical in form down an X and Y center line, and that means that the fattened sections of the fin array are found on either side of the center point. But somewhat surprisingly though, there's no additional offset to allow for better RAM clearance, but I guess that's because Be Quiet is assuming that the slim design of the heatsink is going to be fine for RAM clearance anyway, so there's no need to really offset the fin array away from the base. And the single tower fin array is made up of 52 aluminium fins with what I would call reasonably dense spacing. The CPU cooler's heatsink height is 161 millimeters. You've got a depth of 52 millimeters, which is indeed pretty slim. And then the width is 130 millimeters. Running through the single tower aluminium fin array are four six millimeter copper heat pipes that come from the heat pipe direct touch base. These are bare copper in appearance, so they don't have any form of nickel plating or silver or black finish. So again, that's kind of a slight disappointment from an aesthetic quality touch, but I guess that's how Be Quiet is trying to keep the costs down a little bit. Be Quiet gives the Shadow Rock Slim to a 160 watt TDP, whatever on earth that means. But basically what that means, in my opinion, is that heat pipe direct touch for the base is going to be absolutely fine. You're not really going to saturate it with the type of CPU you're going to use with this £44 cooler. And then when we look at the base, what we see is obviously the flattened sections of the four 6mm copper heat pipes. They do have spaces between them where you have an aluminium coverage block. So that basically just extends the coverage that you get for a large heat spreader, something like an AM4 Ryzen chip. Looking at the fan used with the Shadow Rock Slim 2, be Quiet opts for a 135mm unit with model code BQSIW3-13525-MR-PWM. So basically, if you translate that, it looks to be roughly a 135mm class Silent Wings 3 fan. However, Be Quiet doesn't actually say that this is technically a Silent Wings 3 fan. And I must say, Silent Wings 3 are very, very good fans from Be Quiet, really well balanced for performance and noise. And that's especially true if you appreciate the all black, non RGB style of the Be Quiet Silent Wings 3 fans. So, your nine blades for this 1400 RPM unit uses a rifle bearing, and this is powered by a four pin PWM connection, which comes from the end of a black 220mm long cable. As far as 1400 RPM top speed goes, that's absolutely fine for a cooler of this caliber when factoring in the 135 millimeter diameter fan. With the fan in place, the cooler extends to 74 millimeters in depth. And that's a bit unusual because what it tells us is actually this is a 22 millimeter depth fan as opposed to the usual 25 millimeter thickness. So that's, I guess, another small touch that does make this slim cooler slim in, not just name, in actual practice, I guess. And the weight of the cooler plus fan 
is 690 grams. So not too overpowering. One of the key positives with the fan mounting design is we're basically using metal clips. And what that means is you get a pretty good amount of flexibility with the height that you want to mount the single fan at. And Be Quiet also includes a second set of fan clips if you do want to run a dual fan approach for push-pull with this CPU cooler. Be Quiet sells the Shadowrock Slim 2 unit with three years warranty. And given the 80,000 hours rated lifespan, according to Be Quiet, for the fan, I'm absolutely fine with three years of warranty. With respect to installation for the Be Quiet Shadow Rock Slim 2, using AM4, you have to rely upon the default AMD backplate, but you do remove the plastic retention clips on the front side. Once you've removed the plastic retention clips, you basically use a plastic spacer from Be Quiet, then the metal retention clips or brackets if you prefer, and then you screw those down into place onto the standard AMD bracket that's mounted on the back side of your motherboard. This is more difficult than it needs to be, as we always see from Be Quiet, because this is their go-to procedure, and it basically has me wishing for three hands most of the time. The method that I found works okay is if you have your motherboard flat on the table, but that's not ideal if you want to install the CPU cooler as an upgrade, where you've already built your system into a chassis. I just wish Be Quiet would give you a better method of retaining that stock AMD backplate without needing an extra set of hands. Once the retention clips are in place and the cooler is mounted as desired, then a metal crossbar comes along the base of the cooler and you can screw that down with two screws and it's held in place very, very securely. And then of course the final step is to install the fan and you have a variable approach for the height of the fan because of those metal clips that are used. So that's another positive. Be Quiet's instructions are clear, the mount is very secure and the process is generally easy and logical enough to follow. I would however like to see Be Quiet improve that retention mechanism for the stock AMD backplate because it is quite difficult trying to put a plastic spacer on and then the retention clips for the metal bracket and then trying to screw that in place while everything's just freestanding. Not ideal but overall a good mount so I'm certainly happy with the sturdiness. For testing we use a Ryzen 9 5950X processor at 4.1 GHz fixed frequency with a BIOS voltage of 1.225 volts and this is around about 180 watts of package power. We also test using Precision Boost Overdrive because this allows us to see what the CPU cooler is capable of delivering to the CPU in terms of frequency and power cooled and that's while retaining the AMD preferred operating characteristics for the processor. A motherboard is a Gigabyte B550 Aorus Master with its superb VRM. We use a Seasonic TX1000 1kW power supply. Our graphics card is a Gigabyte RTX 2060 Super in 0 decibel mode. We've got 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4 and our chassis of choice is the Fractal Design Meshify 2 with four 140mm cooling fans. For the test procedure we use a 30 minute looped run of Cinebench R23 and then we record the steady state CPU temperature at the end of that 30 minute period. Ambient is maintained around 23 to 25 degrees Celsius and where the ambient conditions do vary away from this slightly then we'll add in additional test runs just to ensure consistency. As always, if you want more details on our test hardware and our test procedure, number one, you can check out one of our recent reviews for a Zalman CPU cooler, where we go over the test in a little bit more detail. You can also check out the Kikuru website, where we go into more detail on the written page. And if you want any more questions, then just check out the comment section down below, where I'll do my best to answer. Let's start off testing with looking at the Be Quiet Shadow Rock Slim 2 in terms of noise output. This gives us an indication of the 100% fan speed output and therefore where we expect performance to lie based on that number. Rounding up to 39 dBA at our usual 12 inch test distance from the Fractal chassis, Be Quiet's noise performance from the Shadow Rock Slim 2 is outstanding. In fact, this is the quietest CPU cooler that we've tested to date. The decision to use a single 135mm fan that runs at a modest 1400 RPM and roughly translates into Silent Wings 3 type specs has been vindicated from a noise perspective. When looking at 40 dBA fixed noise output testing, we cannot actually run the Shadow Rock Slim 2's fan at a high enough speed to hit 40 decibels. It would likely take another 100 to 200 RPM to hit that noise level. As such, the performance that we register from Be Quiet's new cooler must be viewed through the lens of such excellent acoustic results. Now we will look at the Precision Boost Overdrive test results. In this test, we're not all that interested in the 
actual temperature output by the CPU cooler because we know there's a 90 degree Celsius limit according to the AMD algorithm. So what we're more interested in is a balance between the actual package power that the cooler managed to cool from our Ryzen 9 5950X and also the frequency that that translated into. So higher package power cooled, higher frequency is better. And of course, when you're looking at the really high end coolers, then they will run below 90 degrees Celsius, but I don't expect that from these mid-range coolers. Be Quiet Shadow Rock Slim 2 manages to cool around 209 watts of CPU package power from our Ryzen 9 5950X. This translates into an average clock speed of 4280 MHz. By comparison, the Zalman CNPS 10X Performer Black that we reviewed recently is around 20 MHz slower on the clock due to managing around 5 watts less CPU power than the Be Quiet cooler that we're looking at today. And the similarly priced but 120mm fan equipped Shadow Rock 3 from Be Quiet is also beaten in our PBO testing. So PBO testing highlights strong performance for Be Quiet with the Shadow Rock Slim 2. We'll now move on to our 4.1 GHz overclocked fixed frequency test. So at this point, because the coolers are all running at fixed frequency and fixed voltage, and the CPU package power is about 180 watts on a competent CPU cooler, these results are directly comparable in terms of lower temperature is better for a CPU cooler. Also, note the use of delta temperatures in our chart, so make sure to add those to the ambient conditions wherever you are in the world. With each cooler compared directly in a fixed frequency scenario, the Be Quiet Shadow Rock Slim 2 performs very well. Salman's slightly cheaper capacitor is beaten by a single degree, which is realistically within margin of error, so these two coolers realistically tie. However, Be Quiet's unit is quieter, so that's a victory for the roughly £5 more expensive Shadow Rock Slim 2. We were actually surprised to see the new slim Be Quiet cooler beating its physically larger Shadow Rock 3 sibling in this 180 watt heat load test. However, closer inspection highlights that the use of a 135mm fan and more densely packed fin array are paying dividends for the Shadow Rock Slim 2. While 135mm is certainly non-standard when it comes to cooling fans, the diameter class does look to be a good performance upgrade versus comparable 120mm CPU cooling options, especially at this mid-range price point. Another benefit of using an oversized 135mm fan is that more incidental airflow finds its way to the motherboard VRM heatsink, dependent upon your motherboard layout of course. In our test system with the Gigabyte B550 Aorus Master, this translates into chart topping VRM temperatures for the Shadow Rock Slim 2 alongside Zalman's capacitor. Even with VRM temps passing 70 degrees Celsius and a heavier 209 watts PBO load, we have no cause for concern with the ability of Be Quiet Shadow Rock Slim 2 to provide airflow around the CPU socket for motherboard cooling. And if you're interested in stock cooling results, then the Be Quiet Shadow Rock Slim 2 managed a delta temperature of around 33 degrees Celsius for a CPU package power of 128 watts cooled. That's pretty much identical to the Zalman CNPS 10X Performer Black that we reviewed recently. And the delivered all core frequencies for those two comparable coolers was also very similar running at around 3.84 to 3.85 GHz for our 5950X processor. Our overriding opinion for the Be Quiet Shadow Rock Slim 2 is that the cooler delivers solid thermal performance with outstanding noise results, and it does so while offering a non-intrusive slim design. Versus a realistic competitor that we recently reviewed, Zalman's CMPS 10X Performer Black, Be Quiet's cooler more than holds its own in terms of thermals and noise. And the similarly priced but physically much larger Be Quiet Shadow Rock 3 is, interestingly, outperformed by the new Shadow Rock Slim 2 on our test platform. The use of a 135mm 1400 RPM fan looks to be a really good move for overall cooling performance with this single tower heatsink. This option, while a bit more rare than 120mm cooling fans, does seem to be a good step up from the mainstream 120mm CPU cooler fan approach. And of course, even though it's not Silent Wings 3 in name, it's pretty much Silent Wings 3 from what we've seen in terms of performance. Very quiet, good cooling operation from the fan. In terms of downsides, we still think the Be Quiet needs to improve that initial retention bracket installation step for AM4 mounts. I know that's kind of a minor point and something that's more of a one-off, but it is quite difficult and quite frustrating. However, the final mount is sturdy and it is solid, so I've got no complaints there. And the aesthetics are simply mediocre for today's market, with a good-looking black fan mounted alongside a boring silver heatsink with bright copper heat pipes, in my opinion. But if you think that the heatsink is not boring, then let me know in the comment section down below. I think it's just a bit basic for a mid-range unit, I guess. 
At £44, the price is undeniably on the high side for a cooler of this calibre. If you look at it versus a realistic Impessus or something like the Zalman cooler that we reviewed recently, the Shadow Rock Slim 2 is undeniably expensive. But to many consumers, that will be fine given Be Quiet's excellent noise output, the strong thermal performance and the outstanding build quality backed up by a three-year warranty. Be Quiet's Shadow Rock Slim 2 comfortably achieves its goal of operating a well-balanced CPU cooler with excellent low noise levels, with a slim design that really does mitigate RAM and VRM heatsink interference headaches. Well-balanced, slim cooler, a bit on the expensive side I guess, even though it's mid-range pricing, a little bit boring in terms of aesthetics, but the thermal performance really is very good. The noise performance is absolutely superb, the build quality very good, I'm happy with a three-year warranty, so overall far, far, far more positives. The negatives but if you disagree with any of these points as always let us know in the comment section down below i've been luke hill for kicker thank you for watching our video review of the be quiet shadow rock slim 2 let us know what you think in the comment section down below and as always if you like this video give us a like and subscribe you can join the kicker channel as a member get some cool perks there please do check out the kicker review on the written website that supports us and interact with us on patreon discord and the likes and buy a cool t-shirt like this one if you want to I'll see you in the next one.